Merhaba herkese. Geldiğiniz için çok teşekkürler. Bugün Sarıcı'nın 10. kitabını kutluyoruz. Ee, i̇lk okuyucular arasında okuyoruz kitabın. Ee, İstanbul'a gelin 2 gün oldu. Şimdi Yemenler'de bir okul buluşması gerçekleştirdik. Onu da çok ilgi gördük. Bugün de ilgi gösterdiğiniz için teşekkürler. Hi everyone. I love this. This is so intimate and special. It's almost like a little book club that we're having. Herkese merhabalar. Bu otel harikulade değil mi? It is. So I had no idea this hotel existed. And I stepped foot in here last night and I instantly began thinking about a story set in here. What do you think? Should, should this be the setting? For... It's so elegant. It's so amazing. Well, thank you so much for coming and spending this hour with me. And I hope that I can answer any of your questions, um, tell you anything about my books, about my life as an author, as a mother, um, my stories. You just let me know. I'm here for you to answer your questions. Acaba bu kitabı yazma sürecinde neler geçirdi, neden tarih ve nasıl yazdı? Yes, so I've always loved Paris so much. I mean, who does not love Paris? And I, I've always wanted to set a book in Paris, and um, it felt like the right time to do it. So um, I also was very inspired to write about uh, Paris during the occupation during the Second World War. And like I do in a lot of my books, um, I also did a past and present storytelling style with this book. And I love being able to do that with, with my books. I think it's, it's fun as an author to be able to switch back and forth between storylines. And I hope that it's fun for readers to be able to connect the dots between two different women from two different time periods. Evet, bu aslında sizin um, olarak hep yaptığınız bir süreç. Özellikle geçmişte günümüzü birleştirmek ya da farklı karakterlere yer vermek aynı zamanın içinde. Bu tarz, siz niye seviyorsunuz? Niye bu sizin tarzınız oldu? You know, I, I've always been so interested in the past. And I think that, um, you know, as a little girl, I was always asking my grandparents about their love stories and my parents about their love stories. And, you know, um, I just think there's so much for us to learn about um, our family's history, and I think that there's a lot of a lot of you know parallels we can make in our own lives, and um, that's the most fun for me as a writer is to uh, take two women who don't know each other at all from two different time periods and, and show how similar they are and and align their lives in that way. And um, I'm glad you enjoy that style because I love I love doing it. Um, I'm distracted by these flowers. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> they, I'm told this is by a, um, a semi-famous uh, floral designer um, who matched the flowers from the book. Isn't that cool? I guess I must be kind of an emotional person. Yes, <laughs> I I mean, here's the thing. I really love love. I do. I love it. I'd love to write about it. Um, I'm a, sort of a romantic person. Um, if I meet you, I want to say, are you happy in your marriage? Do you love your husband? How did you meet him? When did you know it was real? You know, I ask those kinds of questions. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think that I think that um, I live with my heart, you know? So I, I think that that does come out in my writing. Sorry if I'm a little too much. Mm -hmm. I feel like Turkish women really love love too. I think I think Turkish women are really big hearted and men too. I think I think that um, maybe that's why you have loved my book so much. Um, I don't know, but I just really feel a connection with this country and with all of you readers. And um, I'm just very grateful for your support and enthusiasm for my stories. Yes, I just my my little brother just got married to a lovely Turkish woman on Saturday night, and um, he met her because he learned that his big sister, me, was a best-selling author in Turkey. So he thought he would, on a world trip, go visit Turkey. And sure enough, he meets a woman here. 
and they fell in love over the course of a few years, and now they're married, and now she's my sister, and now she's moving to Seattle. Okay, you guys, this is so cool, I have to say this story. I got off the plane a few days ago, and um, I went to present my passport to the passport person, you know, and um, he looked at my name, and usually it's very, you know, these people are very kind of, you know, they're grumpy or whatever, and he goes, what is your profession? And I said, I'm a writer, and he goes, I've read all your books. And I was like, oh, and I was like, I wanted to like hug him or something, but you don't do that at Passport Control. So she's asking if I would, if I would do everything for true love. You know, you know, maybe it makes me sound too idealistic, but but yes, I think so. I I think that um, in my life, you know, not everything has gone according to plan in my personal life, and um, I I you know I didn't I, I didn't get it right the first time. I went through a you know a heartbreaking period of, of divorce and um, you know family like breakup, and that was very hard. Um, but you know what? There there is happy endings, and there's the thing I've learned is that no matter if you are lost or suffering or have gone through a, a separation or a divorce or a breakup, there is joy in the second chapter of everybody's life, and there's always a second chapter, and um, and I believe in that. I I really do. Yani çok mu idealist dönecek kulağımın söylediği ve onu sanıyorum. Evet, yani her şeyi yapabilirim ve hayatımda her şey planlandığı gibi gitmiyor. Benim de hayatımda hani boşandığım gerçekten çok karşılıklı yaşadığım bir dönem oldu. Ee, ama yani e, e, şunu hissediyorum, yani boşanma da yaşasanız, bir ayrılık da yaşasanız, kendinizi kayıp hissetseniz her zaman için hayatta hep bir ikinci bölüm oluyor. Yani hep bir ikinci bölüm oluyor ve her zaman bir neşe, bir mutluluk oluyor. The best compliment that I could get is to hear that somehow I wrote something that made people love reading and love stories. That is so special, so thank you. Um, because I had an author that I read when I was your age who did that for me, and she's no longer living, but I got to tell her that same thing, and it was hopefully meaningful to her as well. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I, I don't really. Um, I, I feel very, very grateful that I still am as, as excited about what I do uh, as I was at the very beginning. You know, I still wake up uh, excited to check my email and see if readers have sent me a message about something, or if I've heard from my agents or a publisher, or whether my new novel in Norway has been on the bestseller list. I still get excited about it. And, um, görmek çok güzel. Ee, ben de bütün kitaplarınızı okudum. Bu hariç e, merakla hemen başlayacağım alır almaz da. E, kullandığınız hikayeler, müzikler hepsi çok güzel. Ben sadece nelerden beslendiğinizi merak ediyorum. Kimleri okumayı seviyorsunuz? Kimleri izlemeyi e, tercih ediyorsunuz? Onları çok merak ediyorum gerçekten. E, daha sık gelin. <gülüyor> Ve de, sağ olun. Thank you. Uh, I would love to come to Turkey more often and I, I hope to um, be a more regular visitor. Um, I uh, I read more nonfiction these days than fiction uh, because my head is always in this fictional world of my own imaginary world, and I've become very interested in memoirs and uh, books on sort of self help, improving your life in different ways, nutrition. I'm obsessed with healthy living and nutrition, uh, fitness. And I love jazz. I listen to jazz all the time. I love Latin jazz. I love bossa nova. I love old jazz. They play a lot of this old jazz in here, like old timers, like 1940s. Um, I think I answered all of your questions. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah
I'm kind of a nerd for old things. Evet, evet, Türkiye'ye daha sık gelmeye çalışacağım. Gelmeye, daha sık gelmeye ben de isterim. Daha güzel bir e, ziyaretçi olacağım inşallah. Ve şey, bugünlerde ben yani kurgusal kitaplardan ziyade kurgusal olmayan kitaplar okuyorum. Çünkü zaten hep kurgu dünyasının içerisindeyim. E, mesela işte hatıralar okuyorum, kendi kendine yardım kitapları okuyorum. Mesela beslenme, fitness gibi konulara gerçekten çok önem veriyorum. Sağlıklı beslenme benim için çok önemli ve caz müziği çok seviyorum. Hani mesela latin caz seviyorum, bosanova seviyorum. Eski caz, cool caz seviyorum. Mesela burada da bir sürü caz çalıyorlar. Özellikle 1940'lar falan gibi şeyler.